Excellency, for being here today to witness yet another mega investment conference in this general region within under 30 days. And this is testament to his commitment to support investment. The theme of today's conference is thankfully opening up counties as the new frontier for investments and development. I couldn't concur more with the spirit and the letter of this initiative. Your Excellency, it is true that it is one of the most and effective way of animating the Kenya Kwanzaa bottom-up economic transformation agenda to have these investments and systematic expansion and devolution of economic activities that then bring economic exclu exclusivity. I therefore loud Kakamega County and the governor for recognizing that Kenya offers by far the most desirable gateway to Africa. You have made the right move to position yourself to harness the unique economic prospects available within this region. And besides your favorable climatic condition, you have very huge potential, and therefore I look forward to working with you in my ministry to support the completion of the county uh, aggregation and industrial parks, to work on other industrial spaces like SEZs and, EP, S, and EPZs. And we want to improve the business environment uh, together. We want to support the county through the Kenya Development Corporation to offer affordable credit. As I finish, I want to confirm that we have now finished negotiations of the investment protocol under the AFCFTA that will provide a framework for investment treaties in the continent. I am glad that the SG is here, who I deeply congratulate on his re-election as the SG. We want to thank you again for supporting Kakamega, and we call upon other counties to follow suit as we enhance investment in Kenya. I want to introduce my colleague who is here, the CS for Mining and Blue Economy, Salim Mvuria. We also have board chairman of various corporates, Kenya Revenue Authority. We have Commissioner Khadija, who is in the house. The chairman of Utali is with us. The chairman of Hello. National Housing Corporation. The chairman of Earbook Editorial Board. And many others who can just stand for recognition together with the CEOs. And with that, I want to welcome the Prime Cabinet Secretary and the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs and Diaspora Affairs. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, Your Excellencies, the governors present, specifically the host Barasa, Your Excellency, the American Ambassador, Meg Whitman, leadership of Kakamega, members of parliament, MCAs, partners, friends, and potential investors in Kakamega. Good afternoon. I also wish to uh, note that we have the Secretary General Makele Mene, who will be coming in as soon as I've made some brief remarks. Your Excellency, I just want to go a little bit 
maybe philosophical or bring out some issues metaphorically. The symbol you see behind us is the crying stone. It is a symbol of this region, the symbol of Kakamega. But today, we are talking about investments. Because the philosophical message here is this. We cannot cry ourselves out of poverty. We cannot cry ourselves out of poverty. We must work ourselves out of poverty. That is the very strong message that we should realize as we look at the crying stones. We must stop crying. That's the truth. We must stop crying and work ourselves out of poverty. The issues that we must do, uh, Your Excellency, some have been touched on here. i just highlight one or two issues. Our leaders, the legislators, must always work on supportive and innovative legislation both at the national and the county level to spur growth, to spur investment. We must have targeted skilling and tooling of our people. We must diversify. I repeat, we must diversify. Listening to the presentation by the American ambassador there's a very strong message of diversification in that message. Finally, uh, Your Excellency, we have 72 KTDA factories nationally, 72 Kenya Tea Development Agency. The rainfall in Kakamega in Bihiga, in Busia, in Bungoma, save for a few areas, is the same kind of rainfall you get in Nandi, you get in Kericho, you get in Kisi. Out of the 72 KTDA factories, this region has only one. What can we do? Why should we have the same rain Basically the same density of population, same land mass, but they have eight factories in Kisi. They have about seven factories in Nandi. There are so many in Kericho. Is the rainfall different in those areas from ours? And then finally, before I invite our guests, um, we are just a few kilometers away from the border of Uganda. Africa continental free trade is poised to break the barriers of intercontinental trade. Maybe as you speak, you can shed some light on what you believe we can do as a region, as Kenya, to make sure that the issues around intercontinental trade can be hastened and made much easier for the African continent at large. Ladies and gentlemen, those were my few remarks. So let us stop crying, because crying will not work us 